Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. Um, shooting this video from the living room. Got the phoenix rising above me. Um, this is going to be the third video on seventh chords. Um, if you haven't seen the first two, I'll put the links in the description and I'm sure they'll, you know, figure out how to pop them up on the screen somewhere. Um, the first two, the first one was all the seventh chords from the sixth string root note position. The second video was the fifth string. This is going to be the fourth string root note position. Okay. Uh, before we get into it, I want to say like I did in the other two videos that you do need to know your major scale through and through. Um, I keep saying that in all my videos. I should probably do a video on the major scale. I do have a video on chord construction and how to make chord progressions and in that we go over the major scale pretty in depth. I'll have that pop up right here and that'll also be a link in the description in case you don't want to go to it right now. But you're probably going to need to know that to understand what I'm talking about here. So let's jump right into it. Uh, we're going to do everything in the key of C like we did the other two videos and for a fourth string root note, that is going to be right here on the tenth fret. Okay, because your your sixth string, I'm gonna do a video on octaves too, but that's your octave of the sixth string right there, two down and two up. That's your C note. Okay, so a C major seven with the root note on the fourth string can be played two different ways right here. First one I'll show you is this, and this is kind of inconvenient. It's great, it's a great arpeggio, it's staircase arpeggio position. But to play it as an actual chord, if you're playing fast, it's kind of difficult. And the the string positions with the frets for that is dud, dud, ten, nine, eight, seven beautiful sounding chord. Then the other way I'm going to show you right here, which is much easier, is you're going to bar the first three strings of the 12th fret and then catch your root note right there on the 10th fret. So that one is going 10, 12, 12, 12, C major 7. Like every major and minor chord, the, the base of this these chords is a 1, 3, 5 for a major and a 1, flat 3, 5 for a minor. So your note positions here are the 1 is on the 4th string, the 3 is on the 1st string, that high E. The 5 is on the 3rd string. And then the 7th is the 2nd string. Cool trick to remember is that your 7th is always one semitone below your octave. And if you're coming from the 4th string, your octave is 2 down and 3 up. So come one semitone down, that's your 7th. Okay, and that's the same, you know, everything after the 12th fret, everything repeats. So that's the same C note, an octave up from right here. That's a lot to take in, and it's, some of it's not really necessary, but just, you know, things to, to learn and mull over is pretty cool. So that's our C major 7. All right, now we're going to move into the C dominant 7, or C7. If you see a chord that is written as, like in this instance, C, C, and then a 7, that's a dominant 7, dominant sound. Okay, um, so you can write that or say that either C dominant 7 or C7. So to do that, we're going to make the same, this is the same... Uh, voicing as your D7 you would play down here. We're all the way up on the 11th and 12th fret for that shape. 
right? Sorry, I realized you couldn't see that. D7, C7. Because if you were to go one whole step higher, you'd be back to your D7 up here. So to make a, a dominant seven, all you need to do is flat the seven. Major seven is the seventh note of the scale. You flat that to make a dominant seven. And going from major to dominant, all we're doing is moving that middle. So we're, we're in this position right here with that bar. You're gonna put your middle finger on the flatted seven catch this with your pinky and your ring finger on the 12th fret and now our notes go root third fifth flat seven and our fingering is dud dud 10 12 11 12 for the C7. And like I said in the other two videos, and like everything on guitar, all these chords are movable. So like I just showed you, you know, if you move that all the way down there and play the open D, it's a D7. If you bring it up a whole step and finger that E note, it's an E7. Come up another half step, F7. Okay, so everything I'm showing you here, I'm showing you all in C, so you don't have to move your fingers a lot. But all of these chords can be moved anywhere. So when you learn these five chords, you move them anywhere, and you know all of those chords with the root note on the fourth string. Pretty cool, right? All right, from a C7, we're going to go into C minor 7. To do that, we're gonna flat the third. To do that fingering-wise, We're going to switch, so you have your middle finger and your ring finger, uh, the first and second string, 11th fret. This finger is always staying on the root. And then pop your pinky up on that third string, 12th fret. You can also bar, I have a hard time doing it, but you can bar those first two strings right there. I just play it with all four fingers. So now we are root or one, flat three, five, flat seven. And our fingering for that goes dud, dud, 10, 12, 11, 11. Now to move into a half diminished. Okay, now we're going to flat the fifth. So a half diminished goes one, flat three, flat five, flat seven. So now we flatted everything except the root note. And what that looks like is the same thing you had for the major seven. Slide those three, slide that whole finger down everything down a half a step. Super easy. Our fingering on that one is 10, 11, 11, 11. And that's a half diminished. Now to go into a whole diminished, gonna take the same position we had for the dominant, that D7 shape. And that's all going to be down, all bunched up right under the root note. And for that, our order of notes go 1, flat 3, flat 5, double flat 7. Because a whole diminished, you're flatting the 7 again. And you might think, isn't that a 6? It is, but... For the sake of keeping things in order and when talking about it um, and playing it, it's called a double flat seven or a flat flat seven. So that's what a whole diminished chord is. Your root note, flat three, flat five, and a double flat seven. 
and our fingering for that is 10, 11, 10, 11. And what's very cool about a diminished chord is the way they're built. You can slide that three frets in any direction, either down or up, and it's the same chord. It's a different inversion of the same chord. If you spend time with it and look at it as you go, you'll see that there, it's the same four notes. Uh, they're just in a different order, which is very cool. They're very versatile chords. Um, they're great bridges between chords. Um, and it is also its own chord. Um, but it's also the inversion of the same chord. It's a whole other video that I'm, I'm going to do probably. For now, I just want you to know that. You can slide it around three frets. And um, you get a different inversion. All right, so let's recap. We've got, well, we've got our two ways to play the major seven. Okay, the staircase one, and this one with the bar on the 12th fret. Then we've got our dominant seven. Minor seven. Half diminished and whole diminished. All right, so play these chords in that order. I would suggest at first walking down because it's it's very easy to remember them. You're just stepping one note of the construction down each time, um, and then once you get that down, play them. You know, play them descending, play them ascending, then start to mix them up and. Like I said, if you haven't seen the other videos, check those out. Um, and if you're new to the channel, if you just found this, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, hit the little bell notification so you stay in the know. I'm gonna try to churn out as many lessons as I can. I just decided to start being a guitar teacher and I'm having a blast with it. And I hope whoever finds this, um, you know, this, this information is direct enough and useful enough to help you. Um, I think that's it. Leave any questions in the comments.